Security Council adopts resolution number 2170 on preventing the supporting, funding and arming of the terrorists. Al Jafari, Syria has been fighting a growing war against Takfiri terrorist groups single-handedly on behalf of humanity. Nasrullah, there is a new U.S. approach in the region that aims at converting Israel from an enemy into a savior. Syrian Arab army units continue to tighten grief against terrorists killing and wounding scores of them in Damascus countryside, Aleppo and Homs. Gentlemen, this is Irado Krikorian with the news in English. The UN Security Council adopted resolution number 2170 on preventing the supporting, funding, and arming of the terrorists of the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, ISIS, and Jabhat al Nusra, and preventing the flow of terrorists to Syria and Iraq. The Council urged all UN member countries to take steps to prevent the flow of terrorists and bringing them to justice. The resolution prohibits the direct or indirect sale of weapons and related items to ISIS, Jabhat al-Nusra, and individuals associated with them. Syria's permanent representative to the UN, Dr. Bashar al-Jafari, said that the resolution number 2170 on preventing the supporting, funding, and arming of the terrorists of the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, ISIS, and Jabhat al-Nusra, and preventing the flow of terrorists to Syria and Iraq is important and long awaited, particularly by Syria, due to the growing threat represented by ISIS, Jabhat al Nusra, and Al Qaeda affiliated terrorist organizations which adopt violent and extremist ideals. Al Jafari said that Syria had been fighting a grueling war against Takfiri terrorist groups single handedly on behalf of humanity with the Syrian government making painstaking efforts to draw the UN members' attention to the threat these organizations pose. Secretary General of Hezbollah Party, Sayyid Hassan Nasrullah, said that the Israeli aggression on Lebanon in 2006 was part of a greater scheme that aimed at destroying resistance and attacking Syria under pretext of supporting the resistance with its further goals. In a speech on the anniversary of the victory in 2006 war, Nasrullah said that there is a new U.S. approach in the region that aims at destroying the region's armies and creating new entities and countries on their ruins, highlighting that the new approach aims at converting Israel from an enemy into a savior. Nasrullah added that there are regional countries that are supporting and sponsoring the Islamic State and that the U.S. has overlooked it since this phenomenon benefits its agenda for the region. Syrian Arab army units foiled an infiltration attempt by terrorists in Drusha in Damascus countryside, where a number of them were killed and injured. A pickup was also destroyed on the road connecting Atriba town and Zakia, and many terrorists inside it were eliminated. Following great operations launched by the Syrian Arab army, Army units managed to control Al Mleha in eastern Ghouta, killing and wounding scores of terrorists and destroying their ammunition and criminal tools. The strategic achievement realized by the Syrian Arab Army in Al Mleha will pave the way for more operations to expel terrorists from other parts of Damascus countryside. As usual, the terrorists claimed that their humiliating defeat in Al Mleha 
was a tactical withdrawal. Syrian Arab army continues to tighten grip against terrorists in several cities, killing and wounding scores of terrorists. In Aleppo and its countryside, terrorist gatherings were targeted in Hanano, Turkman, Bab al Hadid, and Salah al Din neighborhoods, where scores of terrorists were killed and their weapons destroyed. In Homs, Syrian Arab army units foiled an infiltration attempt made by terrorists from Al Kharab Bridge into Al Wa'ar farms, killing and wounding several terrorists. In Idlib countryside, Syrian Arab army units targeted terrorist organizations stationed in Khan Sabil, Abu Zuhur, and Kafr Najd. Finally, the British, the independent newspaper, published a report which includes new evidence and the involvement of foreign terrorists in fighting along with the terrorist organizations operating in Syria. The paper said that a famous British singer recently joined the so-called Islamic State of Iraq and the Sham showed photos for himself carrying the head of one of the innocent civilians who were killed by terrorists in Syria. With this, we end our news for today. Thank you for watching. For more details about Syria and the region and to view this bulletin again, you can always visit our website in English, syriaonline.sy. Now to latest business and market news with Nariman Qassam, but after a short break.